this developing story in Pakistan. We can show you the latest pictures where six children and two adults are still trapped in a cable car dangling 900 feet above a ravine. Well, officials say that one of the two cables holding the gondola snapped as the children were heading up the valley to school. And they say that the perilous rescue mission being hampered by high winds, the children having been stranded there for nearly 10 hours so far. But clearly the other aspect is that they can't get the helicopters too near in case that too dislodges that uh, gondola from the existing cable you can see there. Let's get some more information from senior broadcast journalist Ahmad Walid, who can join us from Lahore. Really good to, to have your uh, company this afternoon here on GB News. Can you explain to us, Ahmad, what the latest is in terms of this res rescue operation and how difficult it is? Uh, thank you very much. It's a very complicated uh, situation right there, uh, this Batagram area, which is located... Uh, around 230 miles, uh, kilometers from uh, Islamabad, the capital. And uh, the, uh, the students and the teachers, they are stuck there. Uh, it's been over uh, eight hours. Uh, they are waiting for any help. Uh, one helicopter there uh, reached there and uh, tried to rescue the students, but uh, gusty winds are hampering the operation. And that's the major problem. Another SSG, Special Service, group uh, helicopter is being dispatched to the location uh, right away and uh, maybe that can be helpful but uh, the officials uh, uh, in, involved in the operation uh, they are they are not much uh, uh, i mean uh, they are they are looking forward to uh, success but it seems that uh, they are uh, look at, uh, they are uh, referring some examples like you know uh, the gusty winds and the situations in the valley, uh, they are hampering the operation, but uh, they are not hopeful uh, they'll be successful before dark. Uh, maybe it's around uh, uh, one and a half hour uh, left for the operations to continue uh, because in the darkness, uh, it would be more difficult to rescue these children who are stranded for the last eight hours uh, in that valley. We understand that, and we've seen some pictures of one of those commandos trying to get down a, a rope to the gondola, but we understand one of the problems is they can't get the helicopters too near because the downwash from the rotor blades could uh, dislodge the, the gondola from the existing cable. Yeah, that's the major problem. What we can see, uh, first of all, the helicopters reached there uh, after around four or five hours. Uh, they are stuck there uh, since... 8 a.m. in the morning when they were heading to the school. Uh, they used these uh, cables, uh, car cables, uh, to as a transport means uh, because uh, the roads are very dilapidated and in very poor condition and they take long, longer time to travel on these roads. That's why they use these uh, car cables uh, in that area. So this is a situation, uh, first time we saw such a situation there in uh, these hilly areas, uh, which have uh, no facilities of transportation or, uh, I mean, due to farms or due to other things. Uh, but, you know, uh, Pakistan's army, uh, they have all the facilities, uh, the rescue, op uh, rescue uh, departments they don't have helicopters uh, with them, but the army is helping them uh, with their special helicopters. But they are not hopeful uh, what we see as uh, we have contacted some people uh, they are they, they are trying their best uh, to rescue these children uh, before darkness falls yeah and and you were saying that these these cable cars these these chairlifts as some people are calling them they are a common sight in these mountainous regions they're built locally i mean how safe are they in reality yeah they are not safer at all we have uh, reported several incidents where uh, such car cables they have collapsed or uh, some uh, reporting some deaths or injuries to people uh, difficulties for the people transportation you know uh, this is the major problem in that that hilly areas uh, so uh, this kind of operation we have never seen but uh, if we pray that uh, this operation uh, is successful uh, because uh, six children and two teachers are stuck there for the last eight hours. 
Well, thank you very much for updating us uh, there from Pakistan. As you say, with uh, darkness, of course, about an hour and a half away, clearly uh, the uh, impetus is to try and get to them as quickly as possible. We'll get back to you as we get more. Thanks very much indeed.